and welcome back to the flax sweater tutorial in this video we're going to be picking up the stitches for the arms on the small circular needles so the first thing we're going to do is where you've got the waist yarn we are just going to thread the needle through those stitches that are on hold So just going to just put it through, the waist yarn still there so we don't need to cut it just yet to make it safer. Any needle mark, needle markers any stitch markers that you have along the way you can pick those up as well for that garter panel I still haven't sewn in any of my ends from these stripes, so I'm afraid it's still a mess. I will get organised at one point, I promise. So, just coming through to the end. Make sure you've got all of those stitches. Okay, so once all of your stitches are back on your needle, then we can just cut that waist yarn and pull it through. You might want to cut it in a couple of places. Obviously be really careful, you don't cut your sweater at all. And then you just pull it out. And we're back on the needle. So the instructions say knit across these stitches, then pick up a knit. So we're going to knit across these stitches first of all. So just get yourself organised. I'm going with a different colour yarn for my stripes. I've not got a lot of room here to be honest. <laughs> but it's simply going to knit across, so get your yarn of choice. I'm changing colour. Just put your needle through, hook it over, and start to knit across these. What we will do is come back that and sew this in. You can do a knot if you wanted to. I prefer not to do the knot. I prefer to just sew it in, but it's up to you. If you feel like it's more secure, if you just do a little knot, then you can do that. But I'm just going to start knitting. And just go all the way around. Pull some of the dark forward, then that might show up better so you can see what I'm doing. So just knitting around. And then we'll be picking up some stitches under the armhole just to give us some more room. And slide that marker across. This is where the guard stitch is. On this row, we're just knitting, but we will start knit a row, purl a row on that garter again as we go down the sleeve to carry on with the ridges.
second side. Just ease it round. It's feeling a little tight. This will feel a little bit awkward now, but once you get it all sorted, it'll be the home run. <laughs> it's just a nice bit of knit stitching again. So we're all the way around there. So it says on the pattern, knit across these stitches, then pick up and knit on the third side. So I'm going to pick up four stitches from the body at the underarm. So what that means is under here, I need to pick up four stitches. And what it's saying is we're picking up four stitches now. And then we're going to be putting a marker in for the beginning of the row and then we're going to pick up another four stitches or however many you need for the size you're doing. So we're picking these cast off stitches there along here just so that it gives us room under your armpit. So let's just pick up a knit. That's one. Two, three, you see I'm just picking up just the cast off loops, four, and then place a stitch marker because that's going to be the beginning of your row, and then pick up the same on the other side. So one, as I say, this is a little bit fiddly, but it's going to get a lot easier any moment now. <laughs> Two, three, and one more, that'll be my four. Okay. So the pattern says work round to marker, purl in the garter panel because this is your purl row. As I say, it's going to be knit a, purl, knit a row, purl a row, just on that garter panel. So we're going to knit round to that marker. I think now this is bigger I need to readjust how I'm going to film because I have no room at all now. <laughs> so sorry if this looks a bit awkward. It's because actually it is and I keep knocking the camera, I'm sorry. But as long as you can see what I'm doing, that's all that matters. So we're just knitting up to the marker. Slip that marker across. I suggest you keep a marker just in case, as I say, once we get going, this is going to be TV knitting. So it's easy just to carry on. So just to have that marker makes you stop and think, right, what do I need to do next? So this row on the garter is purl. So I've brought the yarn to the front and we're just going to purl across. 
after all that sea of knitting you're going to be used to just doing knit rows so it might take a few goes to get used to the purling again although you just done the ribs so that was a little bit and I got cut off I'm sorry about that so I would recommend where we put those new stitches if your stitch count is wrong this is the place to either if you've got too many just knit two together if you haven't got enough just pick up another stitch there and that will be fine so that's all you need to do for however many inches it says to do it as I say I'm going to be doing eight inches so I'm going to count these up now and make sure I have the right amount and you can carry on for however many inches you need for the sleeve and then I shall be back with you when we start doing some decreases because on the arm you always do some decreases because if you think of your arm it's pretty much the same size down the top of the arm then when you get to the elbow you start getting smaller towards the elbow you start getting smaller towards the wrist so we should be doing decreases for going down that part of the arm so good luck as always please leave your comments below or any questions if you've liked this video please press like if you've not subscribed i recommend you subscribe so that you get the rest of the videos for the flax scent so you're not looking out for them and i shall see you next time thanks for joining me bye